Since information technology, or IT, allows for the wide and rapid spread of data, hackers can use it to gain unauthorized access to records. The team at HHS OIG's Cybersecurity and IT Audit Division works to protect HHS systems and data against cyber threats. Individuals will try to exploit existing vulnerabilities within HHS systems. Those systems can then yield massive amounts of personally identifiable information. In addition to threatening the security of personal information, a successful cyber attack on health databases can impact patient safety and access to care. One example is the 2017 WannaCry ransomware attack on organizations worldwide that included hospitals of the United Kingdom's National Health Service. What the ransomware did was it locked down computers so doctors weren't able to see past procedures, uh, drug history, and without that information, it's risky to obviously perform the procedure, so procedures had to be canceled until doctors were able to retrieve that information. The hackers offered to unlock the computers, but charged $300 to $600 per machine. Hospitals either paid the ransom or awaited a resolution, which was developed days later. Cybersecurity vulnerabilities absolutely have a direct impact on patients. So we here at HHS OIG believe that it's important to bake in cybersecurity rather than bolt it on. The OIG uses a three-pronged approach to safeguard HHS systems. We are focused on three specific areas, and that's enhancing IT controls, risk management, and resiliency. IT controls really speaks to the current controls that are in place to protect an agency from vulnerabilities. Uh, risk management speaks to an agency's ability to be proactive and identify vulnerabilities before they actually come to fruition. Resiliency relates to incident response procedures and an ability to recover from a disaster or a vulnerability that impacts a number of systems. These principles are applied to benefit the many agencies and offices that are within or overseen by HHS. We have managed care organizations, we have state Medicaid systems, we have thousands of hospitals, hospital networks, and mental health providers. One of the audits that OIG recently completed was of Medicare's primary system. Medicare is the nation's largest health insurer. We've looked at seven of IHS's 26 hospitals. Uh, Indian Health Service has a great mission providing direct care to uh, Native Americans and Alaska Natives. Uh, in addition, we've also looked at the All of Us initiative at NIH. That's a really innovative program designed for one million Americans to give their demographic, genomic, and lifestyle information in an effort to pursue precision medicine. When we plan our cybersecurity work, we take a risk-based approach and we're always focused on HHS beneficiaries and the American people.